Yes. Especially in this uh, basic geometrical ideas, we need to introduce what is uh, geometry, who is father of geometry. So not only these things, about geometry about geometry. No, actually, I know the history of uh, geometry. Very like good. I studied, please, I studied earlier. Yeah, please, uh, please, whenever you have time, go with history of geometry. What it why? just like? Uh, yeah, please, 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 go. Can you con continue? continue? Like I know only one point about it. Yeah, like what, earlier, what? earlier during uh, during creating the architecture, Very uh, good. they require the measurement. So for finding the measurement for each of the uh, for each, they uh, discover geometry. Wonderful, wonderful. To do the architecture, first thing we need to construct our homes. Yes or no? The ancient uh, civilians, uh, like we have Indus Valley civilization. What is our uh, civilization? Indus Valley civilization. In that, there were uh, beautiful roads formed because if they are constructing such a parts, means. Uh, they need some part of geometry. They need some measurements. For that, first they're using geometry. And any other points you want to add, Karthik? Karthik, about geometry? No, ma'am. I know nothing about geometry. Yeah. Who is father of geometry? <laughs> yes, Vinil. Who is father of geometry? Someone was saying. I know the spelling, but I am not able to pronounce it. What is the spelling? Please you pronounce it. Uh, 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 you Euclid. 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 Geometry. The name is since Euclid. Euclid is the father of geometry. Children, please remember this point. Who is Euclid? Euclid is father of geometry. That's why uh, when you are going to senior classes like a PG, post-graduation in mathematics, you have a subject like Euclid geometry. You have a subject like how you have subject like Telugu, Hindi, English, Sanskrit, like that in post graduation. If you are taking a math wing, so you have one part as Euclid geometry. Yes. Who is father of geometry children? Euclid. Uh, you, you see. Yeah, he is also a great mathematician. Please go through that. Rishita, how are you? I did not see you yesterday. Sorry, ma'am, I was absent. Okay, okay. And Yes, children. Who is father of geometry? Euclid. Yeah. Yeah. Any other points about? Ma'am, so my teacher, like real school teacher, gave us a homework on these properties geometry, ma'am. Okay. They said to write about point geometry, current lines, ray, those all stuff. So okay. I wrote some point as in a uh, Greek. They say okay. as a uh, Geometron. Uh, so it's geometron. called geometron. So Very geo cool. means earth and metron means measurements. Wonderful. Like measure. Wonderful. Geo means geo means earth. 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 Metron means geometry. Measurement. Measure. Measurement. Very good, Rishita. Good. good. Any other points you want to add to this? No. Okay. Very good. Very good. Geometry. Geo, geo means earth, metron means measurement. That's why geometry, geometry is a which word? It's a French word or whatever? Greek, Greek word. word. Greek word. Yeah, yeah, it's Greek word, children. Please remember. It's a Greek word from geo is earth and uh, metron, I think. Metron, metron means measurement. Oh, yes. Yeah, measurement. So when they 
डिफरेंट पॉलीगॉन्स लाइक ट्राइंगल्स क्वाड्रलेटरल्स एंड डिफरेंट क्वाड्रलेटरल्स पेंटागॉन uh uh pentagon and hexagon septagon octagon decagon nano one these are the different polygons not only this this about a uh, basic things we are discussing beyond from that we are going to discuss about uh, circles what is circle what are the different elements in the circle like what are different elements in the circle circumference circumference radius radius diameter circumference segment or sector sector yes very good these are the different elements in the circle so we will discuss those things too not only this we have different levels of concept application uh, we will discuss those points too children let me go with the first first point geometry geometron geo it's a greek word Geo means earth, metron means measurement. Geometry. Uh, the father of geometry was Euclid. Please go through today if you have time. At least ten minutes. Go through about uh, Euclid. Who so is Euclid? At what period he is? Uh, he developed the. What are the things he developed? Uh, please do that, children. Please do that, and uh, let me know tomorrow. I'm going to ask my children uh, about Euclid. Sure. Are else shall I give ten minutes time? Can you start? Yeah, ten minutes is okay. Not only ten. Yeah, ten minutes time. Take ten minutes time. Such an instant. Be ready with your points, children. Come on. Okay. Now you play. I'm going to tell you. No, it seems. No, it seems. Because I'm doing a homework. Some students they can do. Or some they may be quiet. Each and every child should supposed to give at least two points, at least two takeaway points from about uh, about Euclid. Okay, ma'am. Come on, children. Come on. Mom, I'm ready. Can I? Yes, Vedham. No, can I? Even I'm ready. Vedham, one by one. One by one. Vedham first, then Om. So geometry, the branch of uh, mathematics considered with the shape of individual objects. Okay. Uh, individual objects and the properties of surrounding space. Okay. It is once. one of the oldest branches of mathematics okay. having arisen in response to such practical problems as as those found in serving and its name is derived from greek words meaning earth measurement very good the next one please continue go okay ma'am yes uh, euclid uh, sometime uh, called euclid of alexandria to discuss him a uh, From Euclid, a Megara was a Greek mathematician, often referred to as the founder of geometry or the father of geometry. He was born on three three uh, hundred uh, BC. Uh, next, to Euclid was famous as the author of the element, a treatise that taught geometry through rig uh, rigorous proofs of the theorems. This was. मामा 
civilization and Solomon, a collection of empirely. Can I? Can yeah, any other books written by Euclid, please? Uh, and can I? Winin, winin. And can I tell the points of Euclid? Yes, you can. You can please continue. And Euclid taught mathematics as a profession and also founded the Alexandrian school of mathematics and. Manuscripts of his famous work *Elements* were made in both Latin and Arabic languages. He made huge contributions to to the understanding of prime numbers, their their behavior, factorization, and divisors. Yeah. And uh, ma'am, can I say the book of uh, which uh, *Euclid* wrote? Okay. Among the book names are the thirteen books of the elements. What is it? Is it elementary shapes in mathematics? Yeah, ma what ma? Is it elementary shapes in mathematics? Yeah, ma. Yeah, very good. Ma, I have one more point, Anna sir. Yeah, please, please. Yeah. What through his full name Greek can uh, can be aggregated as uh, Euclides? He is sometimes referred to as, uh, and uh, also as uh, Euclid gave us the proof of a fundamental theor uh, theorem of the archimedes. Okay, very good, very good. Man and Euclid is famous for author of elements. Um, author of elements, yes. Ma I found one. Yes, Euclid. His name. Uh, was named uh, like I Euclid. <clears throat> name was uh, named after Northeastern Ohio. Okay, can you please Ma? repeat, Karthik? Vedant, please mute yourself. Karthik, please repeat. Uh, uh, uh not oh, oh, a city in Northeastern Ohio okay. was named after Euclid. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am. Yes. Yes. Put yourself. Uh, one ma by one, children. One by one. Vedanta. Ma'am, Achilles' birthplace is Alexandria. 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 Alexandria, Egypt. It's also died in Alexandria, Egypt. Very good. Very good. These are the different points. You see, children. The first time uh, I'm asking that uh, you don't know about uh, what is. Uh, Oh, who is Euclid? Now there are many points. Okay. Euclid. I don't you know who invented math. Archimedes is known as the father of math. He Archimedes. invented the math. Archimedes. Yes. Yes. Very good. These are different, innovative, interesting facts about math, children. Uh, yeah. Now, you, yeah. Please, children. Please. Any um, I think so. Vastu. Shall we go to our chapter, children? Please mute yourself. Yes. Right. Yeah. See, children, uh, in this uh, introduction part, the term geometry is in English, which is equivalent to the Greek word as uh, Rishita said, geometron. Geo means earth and measurement. Here we will discuss some basic concepts in geometry. First one is point. What is point? Did you observe any time in your day to day life where point point place? Yes, yes, can you please where you are observing the, the point in your day to day life situations? Your class, your yes, Karthik. Karthik, ma'am, are you saying like uh, the points that we see like in our daily life? Yes, yes, yes. In our weight, when we measure our weight, like it's like, like something like 37.5 kg or something. Exactly, that's all. Of course, if you're Mukesh, Mukesh. Yes, ma'am. Like, when ma'am can check someone's temperature, you get like some uh, 36.5. Very good, very good. Ma'am, uh, you clearly also made many math theories, except of the uh, Geometry he made as a math theory is also exactly Soumya very good wonderful point and see children point suppose you are not well 
today you just imagine when uh, you are sick, uh, you are going to hospital. A uh, doctor uh, suggested to nurse, uh, please give an injection to the child to become uh, more, uh, become more uh, very quick recovery. So that uh, uh, what the nurse do, she did uh, injection. Yes or no? So what is that uh, inject? Uh, inject. She is giving some injection to you. Means uh, the point, uh, the needle, needle. Yes or no? Needle is a point. The tip of the needle is a point, ma'am. Yeah. Sharpen your pencil. Make a dot with your pencil. What is that? That is? Ma'am. Point. Yes? Ma yeah. Point means, suppose your classroom, you are full of classroom. Suppose in this, my classroom. So I point it to the child Hariharan. So point exactly, exact location. I exactly located, I show to my finger to Hariharan. This is uh, Hariharan, please answer my question. That means exact location. Point means what, children? Point exact is an exact location. location. Point is an exact location. Point doesn't have length, breadth. Point have no yeah. dimensions. Please remember. Children, point is happening with any length and breadth? No, ma'am. No, that's why point have doesn't have any dimensions. Ma'am, can I say an example and what is a point? Yes, Rishita. Ma'am, point is used to be, uh, represent any specific like location. Exactly location, location. Exact, exact point, exact location. So network is not stable. Please uh, bear with me, children. Can you give an example of a point? Yes. Ma'am, can I give an example on point? Yes, Sadvika. Like we have a location map. Yes. For if you want to locate in Indian Indian map, where is Kolkata? So we have somewhat like points, right? Right, right, Advika. You are suppose you are you are in Hyderabad, in Hyderabad, somewhere, some particular place we are in. So how we supposed to exactly locate using point determines an exact location. If you mark three points on your plain paper, you would be required to distinguish them. For this, they denoted with a single capital letter like A, B, C, children. This is most important, children. Points are exact. Ma'am, we should always generate with some letter, ma'am, A, B, C, T, something. Using capital letters only, children. Points can be represented with always capital letters A, B, C. Or yet, no, capital letter should be only single, only single capital letter. We yes. can't place it A, B, 1. No, it, because uh, only capital letters A to Z, A to Z, any word, any letter you can use to win, but it should be capitals. Ma'am, yes, ma'am, we can use it like uh, we can use on a globe longitude lines and latitude lines, means there is there. Is, we will keep a dot, then we can say it as it, I am living in F7. F5. Very, good, very good, very good, very good. Yes, how it is exact location. Location, you can identify using the point is nothing but exact location. Children. Based on that, where it is not only in mathematics, even you can you utilize the same thing as Advika said in maths, social studies. Not only this uh, geometry we can use in the social studies too. Very good. See children, like always you can represent points with the uh, capital letters. 
not only a b c even you can a to z any letters y x y z also you can like that points can be represented with capital letters this is one more important point the point is an exact location it's an exact what is point children point is exact location exact location ma'am also position right yes also or, position position very good exact location or position very good yes you can remember like that the points can be represented with the letters capital letters like a b c x y z these points will be read as a point a suppose how you supposed to read this children how you supposed to read this point a point b point y point c yes point, point a, a point, point c b, point c like that you can uh, read the points of course the dots have to be invisibly thin it's not a thing like what i am keeping just dot just dot you just to see this is a dot it's not like a invisible what is the given see dots are like invisibly thin that means what children just like very yeah like that you need to supposed to put dot a point has no length no breadth no height so that's why point doesn't have any dimensions point doesn't ah, have any ma yes ma it is it is vedant i can 2d shape ma please tell vedant ma isn't it a 2d shape ma 2d point is 2d shape ma two dimensional two yeah. dimension what is the meaning what is your doubt what's your doubt ma isn't it 2d ha ah, you know it's not 2d there is no dimensions only there is no dimensions my dear point doesn't have any dimensions it's like invisibly thin it's a dot it's a dot it's a simple dot it should you take the power cut in my uh, building so my video will be off yeah yes sir i also have a power Okay, next one. Coming to the next second point, line. Ma'am. Yes. Yes. We can Adi. use points even in this height. Advika. Yes, ma'am. Point can. What is your doubt? Point can be used. Means, ma'am. Only one by one, one by one. So, and if you unmute both together, we cannot go ahead. Advika, I did not. Point A, point B, point C. Yes, points. Then that's why point. This can be read it as point A. This can be read it as point B. This can be read it as point C. Now coming to the line. Line. You see, children. Suppose a line. through two points a and b suppose if you see here a line which passes no you suppose the points you can only here we are just mentioning two points but a line passing two points a and b it is written as a line ab line ab how line formed children how line formed you just to see Uh, number of dots number, number of dots is equal to uh, number of dots if you connect with this uh, all the dots you will form we can name it uh, we can name it a b any number yeah any yeah, there are multiple points just we are taking two points line can be written as a b bar a b double arrow very important children line can be represented by And a, a double arrow like that. If it is double arrow is happening, means it is line. You immediately notice it is line was given. So here, line, if it extends endlessly both the directions, children, it's not a fixed length. It we can extend on at endless on both the sides. There is no end for this line. Line doesn't have any end points. Ma'am, until it is a 
uh, ah, so it contains countless number of points countless number of points two points enough to fix the line we say two points determine line the adjacent diagram shows the line ab this is a line a b not only this even we can represent with the lower case letter student line a line b line c line l line x line m p o yes p o yes very good yeah, that means lower Ma lower case alphabets we can use any lower case alphabets too both the ways we can represent this is one way of representing line this is another way of re representing line this is another way of representing or uh, directly no need of mentioning also if nothing is there means you can uh, understood the uh, lower case letters are given you can uh, easily find out this is line m that's why they mentioned here you see there is a mentioning also m m is a line now coming to the next point sometimes a line can be denoted with the lower case letters too not only in this way they can denote with the lower case letters like a x y z l m n p q r like that not only lower case letters points can be always represented with a capital letters and a line can be represented with the lower case letters that's about a line only the points what are the points you need to remember the points line can be extended endlessly in both the directions that is only the basic points children how to represent line a b double arrow two sides arrows uh, not only in this way lower case letters also we can represent uh, per line please uh, note those points and uh, we'll move to the line segment yes what is line segment very very important children now you just remember line segment has an exact uh, ma'am it will end ma'am uh, yes a line will never end ma'am but a line segment it will end at some point wonderful line um, it has fixed length only it does not have the uh, extended length it has a fixed, uh, fixed length line doesn't have any end points but line segment has a fixed length children please remember this point this is only the basic uh, the, the, uh, the differentiation between line and the line segment line segment uh, suppose this is the line segment ab this can be represented as ab bar only if we draw arrows ma'am it means that it is a line because it can extend to both the sides yes. but when we draw a dot ma'am it means that it's a line segment it shows that it's the end of the line end of the line and it uh, has a fixed length too yes so this is the way we can represent uh, and ma'am uh, some some uh, lines uh, lines also have one time uh, like at one side they will have a dot and one side they will have a arrow it means that um, okay. it can only go it can only extend to it one can, point uh, extend another. only one that is right it is bay it's called as bay very good now you see children in line segment uh, here how we are going to write like a ab ab line or ba line this is both are same we can represent in any way same here ab line segment or or how we supposed to write it? ba line sorry ba line segment ba line segment this is the way we can represent a line segment children please remember this is the way we can represent it. next coming to that's why here we will write it to ab bar or right? B B B A bar both are same, both are same. Ray Ray particularly where we are seeing the modern. Now it has only one end point and it extends one place. One, if you one see the length sun rays, if you see sun rays, this is you just imagine sun. How sun rays will happen to them? Sun rays is uh, sun is somewhere, but we are uh, receiving sun rays. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. We are receiving. Yes. How we how you supposed to receive sun rays, children? This is sun. Just in all the directions, uh, endlessly the sun rays are happening. So that means what you can say here, 
this is a fixed point sun is here fixed point but rays are coming to us that means one direction in only one direction they can extend endlessly they can extend endlessly and another direction another is fixed point and that, that is a fixed point ma'am another direction yes Then that, that and that only I told, ma'am, in the line segment when I was telling that that is called ray only. Right, right. right. You are correct. Now suppose if I am taking like A, B, A, B ray. How am I supposed to represent it, children? Ma'am, like uh, A cannot be moved, ma'am. A cannot get extended, ah, but, but B it. can move to an extent. Out in this. Then let me. A, B. Do no, I have doubt in this? Single arrow. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my doubt is uh, the in this ray. Uh, can we take any side continuous, or is it mandatory to take uh, only right side as continuous? No, not like that. Even you can go like that too. Direction is not okay. important. Only one side has a fixed length. One side but, should be. Uh, but that is there that if uh, if we draw ray as a line segment, that is suppose O P. How are you supposed to write this? We cannot write a P O. Here, how are you supposed to write O P ray? This is O is starting point. P is a Extended endlessly. That is the mean. Now, if I want uh, to place uh, P as my, but like uh, alphabet uh, can be smaller and bigger, right? Like P come uh, after uh, O. Uh, sorry, before O no, or after O. Case, like in this case, only capital letters, na na. Re in re. No such word. Only capital. Only line. Line we are using uh, lower case letters for line. Like yeah, like. Okay. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, uh, uh, like you have written O and P, no, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So uh, can we write it as a uh, P O? No, it's not o. because that's why I'm telling you. So here the O is uh, fixed, P is extended. That's why I'm writing as a uh, O P. If I write okay, ma'am, but if we place the P, if but if we place the P as a starting point and O as a extending point, then we can write. Some Uh, P O. Now, suppose if if I'm writing like that P O, this can be written as a P O. Okay, ma'am means in a ray. Whenever we write that, uh, when we note the letters, ma'am, we have to keep the uh, uh, fixed length one letter in the first one. Yes, very good. Right, Soumya. Right, very good. And then, which is extended endly, that we have to write in the end, second one. Next, next, we are writing. Copy on okay. the question. What is point? What is ray? What is line? What is line segment? I will just uh, one by one. Uh, I want answer from my children. I want reveal right now. I want to go with uh, children. Be alert. Advika, are you there? Advika. Yes, ma'am. Ah, Advika. What is the difference between uh, a line and a ray? A line means it. It never ends. Very good. And a ray means, uh, ray, a portion of a line. Portion. Can I say, ma'am? Um, can I say, ma'am? Ma'am, 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 can I say, ma'am? Okay, ma'am, we need guys. We need, we need. Um, um, this is Chennai. Ma'am, ma'am, two end points and ray has only one end point. Yes, one for one. So line doesn't have any end points, but ray has one fixed end. One can be one end can be endlessly extended. Very good, good. How we supposed to represent a line? Oh, ma'am, ma'am. To represent a line, uh, we have to draw line and put arrow on both the side and okay. top of it. Uh, we have. To uh, take any two letter, uh, one at one uh, one at both the uh, end, like is no end is hard. So we can like I'm taking O and P for example. I'm taking O and P, so I can place a a a line on it on P O. I can place a line and draw the arrow on both the side. Very good. Both are same. Suppose as a worm said, you see children. But in this ray case, we are not going to say. Suppose A B he is taking A B. If I am taking as A B, not only this is A B. Just a minute, children. Mama, I have a doubt. Um, 
I'm your only one. Mama just speaking your own new song. Mama also just speaking your own new song. We can see your cursor moving, but if you are speaking, you are on mute and we can't see you. Yeah, Simran, please. Uh, there is a, a difference between a, a line that can be represented either A, B, double arrow or B, A, double arrow. Both are same, children, because we can uh, write in any direction. There is no end, right? So we can take any end. Yeah, same. We can take any end. Even for ma'am, uh, I have a doubt, ma'am. Soumya, what's your doubt? I'm like it told in Ray, ma'am. Uh, when when there's a, like um, um, if it is the uh, if it is ex uh, like not extending, it has a fixed length. That should be in the uh, like first, and which is which is endless. That should be the second one. So, ma'am, uh, uh, so ma'am, in the line, ma'am, we can write uh, uh, like any ways. Like if I take A and C. Soumya, any way we can write Soumya. Yeah, we bought. If I take, uh, yeah, ma'am, A and B, so we can write B A also. Very good. Then we can write in both the ways. Ma'am, except uh, in the in the line except B, ma'am. Can we write other letters, ma'am? Ha. Even you can see line segment, Nana. Line segment you can write as A B bar or B A bar. Both are same. This is about line segment. Line segment. Coming. This is about a line. But not ray. Ray can be written as only the whatever the fixed end should be written first, then extended. Endlessly extended can be. No, no, no. Can we write any letter, ma'am? Sorry, word. Sorry, letter. We cannot write, Nana. P O cannot write. P O ray cannot write like O P ray. These both are not the same. Ma'am, like can we write for ray like A C or A D? Oh, like like points you are telling like a line A, line B. Uh -huh. Lowercase letters even you can use, right, Nana? No need of writing. No need of writing any symbol on the above. Okay, ma'am. Just lowercase letters are given means it is line. Okay, ma'am. That's about that's about the basic things. And only leftover is point, children. Point can be represented with uh, capital letters. Uh, a, B, C. Point doesn't have any directions. Uh, uh, it's a point is an exact location or exact position. That's about uh, the things. And uh, go to the next part. Uh, intersecting lines. Very important, children. Intersecting. Okay. Intersecting means meeting, Nana. Intersecting. Suppose any two. Oh, intersecting. Any two or more lines meeting each other at one point. Uh, they are called an example of intersecting lines uh, is a plus ma'am ah, a plus symbol yes very good two intersecting lines line are similar to intersecting circles so suppose you see children they gave in this uh, this is line uh, l1 lower case l1 this is line l2 these two lines are meeting at a point uh, o this is the point meeting point this point O can be written, O can be called it as intersecting point, Nana. This point O is called intersecting point. In, intersect at a point is called as intersecting point. Intersecting point. But what is intersecting point means? Any two lines are meeting at a point. That point we can call it as intersecting point. You see here, L1 and L2 intersect at point O. Intersect means, intersecting means meeting, Nana. Meeting. Now, why have they taken only uh, L, L1 and L2? Why do why haven't they written on uh, all, all the four? No, you can uh, you can even take now L1, L2. If you take, if you want to take as X, Y, you can take. Oh, no, I think it's line one. Ah, line, line. That's why they mentioned. Okay, line. it's line one, line two. Line one, line two. That's all. 
next to parallel lines parallel lines are lines but two or more lines do not meet each other how far they extended they are called parallel lines if you extend as you see railway tracks in between railway track is a 1 meter distance if you go to delhi also the distance between railway track is only 1 meter children yes or no yes ma'am that means parallel they are not meeting if you extend endlessly also they never meet such a lines we call it as parallel lines the distance between those two parallel lines is the point by the parallel you can you, you see if the distance between uh, here the, the same like uh, 2 cm means either here to 2 cm only if you extend uh, these lines uh, anywhere the distance between the two lines is 2 uh, cm such a line so call it as parallel line suppose you have one doubt ma'am you see is this is this you see is this is a parallel line because they are not meeting each other is this parallel line no ma'am they are going to meet at a point because they are at a extend this if you extend this uh, somewhere they will meet children somewhere they will meet that's why it is not a parallel you see they will give such a question so is this a uh, parallel line no, no, or no, no. is this parallel line because they are not meeting each other is this parallel line no no ma'am no because parallel lines means the distance between the two lines if you extend endlessly also the same they never meet each other those are parallel lines so coming to collinear points which is very important children collinear point p are more points p are more points in a plane are said to be collinear if they all lie on the same line if they all lie on the same line suppose you see children the point a b c d all points on the same line l they are located in the line l that's why three or more points not only three points three or more points lie on the same line then we can call it as uh, the points are collinear the points are collinear collinear uh, means like a line having all the points yes uh, like yeah only line l the line only one line here all the points lie on the line a point is lie on l b is lie on l c is lie on l d is lie on l that means all the point passing through the line on this, this line some other though all points in one line uh, in this line this line although in the line in, in a line only all this point should be kept in a equal distance no no not like that no not equal. you can take it once any anywhere anywhere but it should be lie on like the in the starting one i am taking 1 cm distance no, but in the second one and such a points we can call it as collinear points if they doesn't have on the same line means they are non collinear points these points you will use this terminology in your senior classes like uh, 9 and 10 children but in uh, classes we never use this uh, collinear points and non collinear points when you are going to class 11 and class 12 you are frequently used with these words but you should just ma'am ma yes ma'am ma'am so like can't we just keep a and b ma'am like why do we keep four points ma'am not only the definition you see nana three or more points three either three or more not only three four maybe five maybe six seven this we can come like it's a just a line right now like we can just keep two points like that now see nana you see suppose if i'm taking this line in this line a b to c and d somewhere out of the line i am taking is a b c d are collinear points no ma'am a b c is collinear point but a b c d is not a collinear point then we can say that non collinear points uh, like it means uh, in a collinear point 
if i am drawing a line a b c so uh, a i can take a distance of 2 uh, cm b in a distance of 5 cm yes. and c in a distance yes. of 10 cm yes. it doesn't matter yes. so don't think about the distance then it should be anywhere maybe it is one anywhere between them it is 10 cm that's not an issue there is no distance in the collinear lines huh? yes 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 Only the thing whether they are lying on the line or not. Mom, can we play with mom? But Mom's if it's not on the line, then Mom's it doesn't have any distance. Non-collinear. Please pronounce it collinear, non-collinear. Collinear points, non-collinear points. Yeah. Please uh, remember these are the points taken away today, children. Please uh, go through once again. What are points? What are uh, what are uh, line? What is uh, line? Line means. What is a uh, intersecting line points and parallel? Sorry, intersecting lines and parallel lines and collinear points. That's all about the day. Children, uh, we'll uh, uh, go with in uh, next class the further uh, things. I'm more ten minutes is there. Ten minutes. I'll give a small quiz to you, children, about this. Okay. Shall we? Okay, ma'am. Any doubt on this concept, children? What we are discussing on? No, ma'am. Uh, just no, ma'am. No doubt. Three points. What are the points you are going to take in a way to your home? In this Sunday, no, in this Sunday test, we will have test on fourth chapter or third chapter. Ah, huh. yeah, both, both we can. Children, listen. What are the points taken away to your home today? The points taken away to your home is uh, the geometry. John, father of geometry, Euclid. Euclid was the father of geometry. He was a, a Greek mathematician. Uh, the yeah. word geometry derived from Greek word geo means geo means earth metron means measurement. So uh, this is the type of quadratic geometry. Ah, huh. geometry is a one of the branch of mathematics. So not only yes. in this geometry we are going to discuss about a point. A point is an exact location. We can be uh, represented the points with capital letters. We can read it as point. How can we say about geometry? Ah, huh. point C like that. And uh, line line can be extended endlessly in both the directions. So A B uh, line both sides arrows, or we can use the lower case letters too. And uh, uh, line segment means a fixed length. Line can be endlessly extended on both the directions, but uh, uh, line line segment has a fixed length. So A B bar or B A bar we can write. And coming to ray, ray has a fixed one end point, and another point, another end is uh, extended endlessly. So A B single arrow children. That's the way you can uh, represent. Not only this, uh, we discussed about uh, intersecting. Intersecting means meeting. Any two lines meeting at a point makes an uh, intersecting point. And uh, parallel lines means uh, they never meet each other. The distance among those two lines should be same if you extend endlessly also. Uh, those are parallel lines, and uh, collinear points and non-collinear points. Uh, collinear points means lay on the same line, and the non-collinear points means they doesn't lay on the same line. That's all. These are the points you need to take away to your home today. Please uh, revise once again all the points. So don't leave what I'm teaching. Uh, the same day, if you revise the points, uh, you will be strongly stored in your brain. The next day, you can uh, forget about the fifty percent student. So that uh, please uh, write your own notes of what we are giving on the uh, topic. Uh, I like Ma'am, students, uh, each and every child is very active in today's class. Ma'am, uh, can you send like uh, uh, like a call like a thing in WhatsApp yeah, where like they've the, got the notes? Worship question. Is the homework, ma'am? Homework will be sent, children. Don't worry. Okay. Then can you send like the notes in WhatsApp? Ma'am, did you call me, ma'am? Sure, Nana. WhatsApp. Okay, right, right. Ma'am. Right. WhatsApp is asking. Did did you call him? We did not get Rishita. What is the word you are giving? Ma'am, not me, ma'am. Ah, uh, Varshit is calling you. Like, uh, did you call me, ma'am? Yeah, I just called for Varshit. I did not heard the voice of Varshit today. <laughs> Ma'am, it's very low. Voice is too low. Who's worship voice? Yeah, ma'am. Okay, okay. Right, children. Uh, let me go with a small quiz. Uh, 
That yes. means I was probably having problem with my headphones, so I was not. No, no, Varshit, very, very low voice. No, no, I didn't. Ma'am, he is telling that he has a, a problem with his headphones. Okay, 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 right. It's okay. It's okay, Varshit. Don't. It's not an issue. I know that you are very good. Uh, let me give a small time for me, children, to just uh, take my recording. Uh, sorry, not the link, link of your uh, basic channel recording. Shall we go with the 10 questions or 20 questions, Nana? 10 questions. 10 questions. 10 questions. 10 questions. Okay, only 10 questions. I'm not going to do any. I will just give 10 questions to my students. 10 or 11, that's all today. I'm 20. I'm 10. Or 15. I'm 20, Mom. Okay, let me see. Is it related to you? Suppose, suppose if unknown questions will happen also, don't worry, children. Because I did not see, I think the most of the questions are uh, discussed. If one or two also not happen. Uh, is it 20 questions. 20 questions, easy questions. I'll just share the link. Okay. Where are you, my children? Okay. Go in the chat box to everyone. Yeah, come on, please join quickly, children. Please join quickly so that I can start the quiz. Come on, come on. All my 12 students, please join quickly.